Growing up in Palm Beach, I've always been in the ocean and at the beach. I've never really understood how much of a global problem this coral reef issue is until now. So Florida has a lot to lose because we're missing our protective barrier of coral that was there up until the early 80s. Since then we've gone through a number of diseases and uh, hurricanes and these things have essentially wiped out the reef track such that it no longer provides an effective breakwater against the big waves that come with the bigger storms that are now in increasing prevalence. The economy and even human lives are at stake. Last year we watched a film called Chasing Coral which made us very aware of a, a serious problem that's affecting the entire world and that happens to be the decline of the coral reefs. Uh, with that in mind we decided to create a project for the students called the Coral Project and reach out and create partnerships that would allow our students to engage in, in research. So building the tanks was the first step in all of this. So our grade was tasked with building the, uh, all the systems and all the engineering that goes into it is really incredible. So we're just, we've just been doing a lot of preparation, like setting up the lighting system, protein skimmer, chiller, heater, and all that stuff to make sure that the water is ideal for the corals so that we can really do beneficial research. It's really important for our students to have opportunities where they can apply what they're learning in the classroom in an authentic way. I think what makes the experience so like amazing and different from other schools and classrooms is that we get to work so hands-on that you're absorbing the material so much better. And it taught us how important each one of these creatures are to the environment, all the corals and everything. Specifically, the research from Palm Beach Day is going to be contributing to a compendium of knowledge for repopulating the reefs. We are breaking all the pieces of coral up into little small parts, but they're still alive so that when they're in smaller fragments, they grow at an accelerated rate. It's really amazing that over the last couple months, this project has taken on so many different directions. We are now working with the Coral Restoration Foundation as a partner, and our eighth grade classes are involved in essentially designing a new version of what is the coral tree that the Coral Restoration Foundation uses to grow staghorn and elkhorn coral. The problem right now is that their trees are made of plastic and so our students are challenged to come up with a natural means of creating that very same system. At first our original design was just like the Coral Restoration Foundations and the only thing we changed was from PVC to bamboo. What we're doing is testing the water to um, make sure the salinity is a perfect range um, so the bamboo will react the same way as it'll react in the ocean. So right now I'm doing the calculations to build the buoy that's going to hold up all the coral. But I also have to consider the weight of the actual bamboo. All the different facets that we're finding in this coral project have allowed a lot of our students to bring their own skill sets, their own passions to the project. I've been working on making 3D models on the computer that show like how the design for the coral tree is going to work because I've always loved science and art, but not many people think that it has a connection together, but art actually has a very big role in science. So we are the DRC committee, which stands for Data, Research, and Calendar Committee, to keep everyone organized. And with this project that has many moving parts, it's kind of hard to do that, so that's why we have made this committee. Social media is a huge part of the Coral Project because it's a really great way to spread the word around, so everyone can tune in about the Coral Project. Uh, one of my favorite parts this year has been the entrepreneurial type part of this uh, and learning about the whole business side of our project that we're doing. All the money that we're making off of it is going back into our research and back into making the coral trees and we're also providing money to the Coral Restoration Foundation. So here's the beauty of working with Palm Beach Day is that the enthusiasm of the faculty and the, the resources in place in these aquarium systems is going to make taking care of coral 
easier than you would think for working with middle schoolers. I think what we're doing here is really important and it's definitely going to make a difference. So if we get this right and all of the coral grows at the rate that we're expecting it to, we could rebuild the coral colonies with a little help of the Coral Restoration Foundation and save the world. Problems naturally aren't solved through one lens, through one perspective, or through one subject, but it's always going to be an integration of different subject matter, but also different skills that all of us bring together, and that's what it means to really solve a problem. It's not done independently, it's done collaboratively, and I, that's what we're really focusing on here, and I see it, and I'm just, I can't wait for the rest of the year to share what, what we come up with.